Welcome to the west coast of Ireland. This is uh, day one of our adventure here on the west coast of Ireland along the wild, the wild Atlantic Way. We've had pretty bad weather most of the day, but at the end of the day, this where we are right now, the weather has stopped and the rain that we were having earlier, which was quite persistent, has thankfully gone away. And according to the forecast for Sunday and Monday, we should have some quite nice weather. At the moment, I'm here overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. The, the friend that I'm with, the colleague I'm working with this week, David Spates, who are putting together a, um, a landscape photography tour over here. He is actually over that way on the cliff head, and I'm uh, over here getting a different angle to what he's getting, as obviously we are professionals and we work in different ways and want different shots. So um, I've got my camera set up, I'm doing a shot um, I haven't included the sky because there's not really much there. There is some kind of nice cloud, but there's no real decent light. So I was focused on something that's uh, here in the ocean itself. So I'll just turn the camera around. You can see what it is that I'm doing. And I'll also explain the setup that I've got and why I'm doing what I'm doing, especially if you're someone that's starting out in this game and you're wanting to know why it is that we do certain things. So uh, just see what it is that I'm up to right now. Okay, so this is how the camera is set up. Now, I was saying there's something very specific that I'm doing. Now, if you're just starting out, you have to see where I am. You can see it's very, very precarious. What I've done with the tripod legs here is everything here is level, so that this base here is level. Because you see a lot of people, they set things up on a hill, on a slope, and the tripod is facing forward. They turn around and suddenly, bang, off it goes. And you can see the Atlantic Ocean down there, not really what you want, so that's how I've set up. So I've got my 6D there on, uh, on top of the tripod. And then around the side is my 28 to 70, and on the front is a polarizer to get rid of the reflections in the waves. And also there's a two-stop ND filter to help uh, lengthen the exposure. So the exposure at the moment is about six, seven seconds. So as you can see, there's a nice sea stack down there where I am uh, on the coast here. So it's uh, all looking good, just apart from the grey and dismal weather but that is you know the Irish coastline because between here and there there's nothing but ocean and the United States of America but this is what I'm up to this is what we're up to hopefully to create a photography tour with fantastic places like this Welcome to the second day of uh, my trip here to the west coast of Ireland with my colleague David Spate, where we're here trying to work on a photography tour for 2018. Now we've come to um, the coastline as you can hear and see behind me. Um, it's fantastic and beautiful evening light at the moment, sunsets in around probably about an hour's time. And we found this spot yesterday, we did a bit of a recce and, and came across this amazing coastline which kind of looks like the Isle of Skye if you've ever been up there and uh, I'm just trying to work this scene at the moment and having a little bit of problem trying to think what do I do with it but I think I've got something that kind of works but uh, I'll just turn the camera around and explain and show you what it is that I've got here. Okay so one of the things that needs to be on my Christmas list this year for Santa Claus is to get me a new tripod because basically I want my camera head height because how I'm seeing the view here I've got this very nice line there of the, these uh, these grasses, these well-lit grasses which are being side-lit by the sun which is this way off of, to the side of me um, and I'm looking down to this bay here that's sort of cutting in and as I said you can see this kind of looks like uh, the Isle of Skye down here if you've ever been to Elgol kind of looks like that but uh, looks a bit better to me. In the background over there are some mountains um, the problem is if you do too wide you get the hold of this bay in here and it just doesn't really look right. So I thought I'd try and I've got my tilt sheet off then with the, the 1.4 extender. So I've got something, I just turned on my camera, uh, just get the, the view on the back so you might be able to see that there. It's okay, I'm not really convinced. Um, it, it is a tricky scene to sort out but you know that's what we do as landscape photographers and travel photographers. Very blustery. Um, here at the moment, which is why I don't like my tripod being up here like this. There's a, at the moment the exposure is probably about a second. And I wanted this as a second just because I want a nice bit of movement in the grass here. 
But outside of that, I'm kind of pleased. It's okay. I'm going to continue working the scene, see what I can do. But until then, just enjoy the west coast of Ireland. I'm sat here, actually just a bit further up from where I was speaking a minute ago. It's actually probably about, uh, I think it's about, must be half an hour, 40 minutes later. I found a composition, it's kind of taken me a while just to find something that's kind of pleasing. And I've been watching the waves coming in, um, and there's a wave cut platform down here, just uh, down here below my feet. I'm being very careful because the way the rock is splintering down here, I don't really want to put a foot wrong and then just end up falling off a cliff. So uh, I'm still looking at the view that I had earlier on. It's just, just a different position. As I've been watching the waves and the way that, that they actually come off of this wave cut platform down, uh, down in front of me here and seeing if I can come up with something. The exposure's getting longer and longer. And I, I don't really want it too long, um, but I do need a polarizer on just because of the, the direction of the lights coming in. Um, and also I want to take the sheen off the water down there as well. So let's just show you what it is that I'm up to here. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic coastline where we are here on the west coast of Ireland. So I'm just going to spin the camera around and give you a glimpse of what it is that I'm up to. This is how I'm set up at the moment. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much sheer drop down there. So I'm sure if I stepped on one of these boulders here, it would just crumble away. It seems quite brittle, the rock around here. But I've got my tripod set up. Everything here is leveled off, not because I want to do any kind of panorama or anything, I just want some kind of equilibrium just to keep everything in the centre of gravity just going straight down that centre column there. So I have my camera in portrait mode and as you can see there's the waves coming in here and just down here is the edge of the platform. I've just been keeping an eye on the waves, waiting until they come in and when they've come in over here and it starts falling away then you start to get a sense of where the platform is. So I've tried to get something that just follows your line of sight up towards uh, the other side of the coastline over there, over the headland. So I said the exposure is getting longer and longer and honestly I preferred when I'm doing coastal scenes about five, six, seven seconds um, of an exposure time. I don't want something too long. When the water gets that misty for me it doesn't look right. Um, but there you go. Just enjoy this coastline here on the west coast of Ireland. Welcome to day three of the Bad Haircuts and Beard Day in Ireland. And uh, as I've been explaining, we're on the west coast of Ireland at the moment, although today we've actually come up to the north coast and we are at Fannet Head Lighthouse. So the sun has just gone down below the horizon just over that way. So there's uh, a little bit of colour in the sky over there. It's going a bit kind of purpley, pinkish kind of colour. I've got Pretty much what I want up here is uh, a photograph that I've got with the waves down there but I've stopped probably about half an hour or so ago just because I don't want the water too soft. I don't think it looks right to be honest when there's the sea and it has this power and you just leave it going and have like 30 seconds exposure. I just think it looks daft. So I've come up here and there's this uh, almost kind of like it's on a limestone pavement but it kind of looks not far off. and. Uh, I'm just using this as foreground interest and getting a shot towards the lighthouse. Any sunlight on the lighthouse is pretty much gone now. So uh, I have been getting some shots. So I'll just turn the camera and show you what it is um, that we've got here up at Fannet Head Lighthouse on the north coast of Ireland. This is Fannet Head Lighthouse on the north coast of Ireland. And as I've been explaining, we are working on a photography tour of Ireland. So this is one of the places we want to bring people to pretty obvious why we would want to bring people here is absolutely amazing so um, this is an obvious one it's very well known of course uh, to photographers but what can you do you have to do those well-known hot spots as well as some of those other places that we've been looking at today where are those other places well I'm not going to say because obviously that would spoil quite a lot but as you can see dramatic coastline beautiful sky out there beautiful coastline welcome to Ireland
Welcome to day four of the of the wobbly camera and dodgy haircut and beard day over here on the west coast of Ireland. Where am I exactly? Well, what do you want to say? Just for the very specific reason, we were driving around earlier on and we found this, not little cove, but certainly very nice isolated part of the west coast of Ireland. It's so nice in fact that it's around probably five o'clock this afternoon and we've decided to stop and just spend the rest of the evening here for the next three hours. It's that fantastic, this place that we've discovered. How many people around here? There's no one here, it's just us. I'm on my own. My colleague David, he's gone off over the cliff somewhere. I'm gonna have to catch him up, but I'm just here experimenting with his little stopper and, and seeing what I can do with the scene in front of me. The light isn't the most amazing, which is why I asked him if I could borrow the little stopper. And I didn't normally do things like this, but we are kind of, uh, Kind of want him to beg some arty kind of stuff to show people what we can do here on the west coast of Ireland for our forthcoming workshop. So I'll just give you an idea of the, the scenery around here and you can get an, eye, an idea of this absolutely beautiful place that we've got here. I don't want to give away too much of what it is that's in front of me but as you can see the geology down there is pretty cool. There are lots of things that, to be done here. If I was to show you camera right over here you'd be able to see what it is I'm talking about. But also, if I was to walk over the cliffs on my right hand shoulder, there's some stunning, stunning views to be had. And we are waiting around for what is hopefully going to be a sunset. The cloud is breaking up. And they have reported that there is going to be broken cloud this evening. We will see. But um, what is here is stunning. So I'll just leave you in wonder at what it is that we might be looking at here on the west coast of Ireland. This is day six of our recce of the west coast of Ireland. It's been a bit of, bit of an up and down day really. We started, got up by getting up about half past four this morning, going up to a sea arch, only to find there was private property signs everywhere, which was extremely annoying once uh, you have driven an hour and a half and hardly had any sleep. But uh, after talking to a local or two, we found we could actually go down as uh, it's a right of way, which was frustrating because the dawn wasn't too bad, not much colour in the sky, um, but we lost basically two hours this morning. And then uh, for the rest of the day we've kind of just been ambling around seeing if we can see something that might be of interest around the coast. I've been taking the Wild Atlantic way, which is quite cool if you ever get to do that, um, and ended up at this place. So where am I? The west coast of Ireland. I'll just explain what I'm up to. As you can see there, there's just this fantastic coastal scene down there with all these sea stacks is absolutely amazing. One thing that's missing right now is the sun. It is up behind me. It's behind a cloud at the moment which is annoying but it should be gone hopefully very soon and I can get what I want. What am I thinking when I look at a shot like this? Well there's so many things you can think about doing. I mean you just have to try and organize all of these different stacks and think do I do a panoramic shot? Do I do portrait? Do I do landscape? Is it wide or is it long? And it's just playing around and seeing what it is that works. Take a few shots here and there before finally setting down on what it is you're going to do. So uh, I'm just going to actually carry on working because I just I don't want to miss what I've got seeing as this is my final day here on the west coast of Ireland. So that was the northwest of Ireland, specifically the county of Donegal. And as I explained uh, through most of the sequences, I was there with another photographer called David Spate. He lives um, near the Yorkshire Dales and he does a lot of workshops around that area. So we're going to be teaming up and we're going to be doing a workshop, um, as I've said through those sequences, in the northwest of Ireland next year. We're kind of thinking maybe April or September 2018. So watch this space and something will be announced. So if you're interested in coming, do let me know or David know. And then uh, we'll be able to fill you in on what it is that we're going to be doing over there. Mostly the, the coast 
because that's what it's known for. So um, what I'm going to say now is what's coming up next. Next is a editorial kind of video and that's going to be related around the Paris to Tours cycle race which is on uh, this coming Sunday. I can't remember the exact date. I think it's the 8th of October. I have accreditation for that and I will be filming when and where I can. I'm not allowed to film the actual race itself. I'm allowed to photograph, obviously as an accredited photographer, but filming is out of the question. So I can't show you some of the cyclists as they're going past and all that kind of stuff, but I will be showing the results and my kind of thoughts and how it is that I'm going to approach that. I'm also going to show, um, I'm going to film the same day as I'm filming this, um, some of the preparations so you know what it is that I'm going to be taking and that kind of stuff that I use to be able to do that kind of photography. So that's coming up very soon. So what can I say apart from that? Um, a few other things coming up. The Dolomites is in about three weeks' time. That should be filmed. So that's going to be loads of mountain scenics and vineyards and God knows what else. Should be amazing if the weather holds out. Hopefully it will do. Unlike April when I went with David Clapp, but uh, hopefully it will hold up in a couple of weeks' time. Maybe there'll be a bit of snow as well on the ground. We shall see. I'm also taking my wife with me, so that should be interesting. See how she copes with that. Um, what can I say? Anything else? No. So all I'm going to say is thanks very much again for watching. Do watch out for the next video, which is coming up, the Paris to Tour editorial sequence. Um, and then see you next week. Thanks again to all those that have subscribed. Sorry there hasn't been much of late, but uh, hopefully that'll change again. We, will, we shall see. But um, thanks again and see you again soon.